We took a look at the NFPA and it said if we had dry lines, dry pendants, like we have here, we could have a junction from the side as well. Let's go see how we can get a junction from the side. First, I'm going to get the pipe command, PI, then check carbon steel welded, then sprinkler, diameter 25, and the elevation should be the same as the elevation of the main pipe. The elevation of the main pipe was 3900. So now I'm going to click here, and then another click here, then press escape. Now I'm going to take this section we had here and put it over here. And now let's go take a look in section. As you can see, the junction has been created from the side. So there was no need for a return bend and we could just simply create a junction from the side. Let's go back in the plan. Now what happens to this one? I can just simply connect it to the pipe, meaning that we can't be using a cross here. So if we want to make this connection, we're going to have to place two consecutive T's here. So we can just convert this T to a cross. Now I'm going to get the pipe command PI. While we have the elevation 3900, I'm going to click here, then go up and click again, and then connect it to this main pipe. Let me zoom in so you can see we have two consecutive T's. Now I can just select this T and move it lower as much as possible to make it closer to the other T. So this is the solution for this part. Now if we take a look from the side, we see that both junctions are from the side. And now I'm going to drag to select these two pipes and then go to view them in selection box. As you can see, both junctions are coming from the side. Now I can select this elbow and this pipe and then go over to the other side and select this elbow and its pipe, then change all of their diameters to 25, and thus we have finished and completed this part of the plan. In the second way, we added one more elbow. As you can see, if we choose this way, an extra elbow and a pipe will be added. Now about this other part, you see we had two T's on top of one another, and if I go in 3D and expand this, you will see it. So basically we have two T's here, and two other T's here as well, but the only difference is an extra elbow. Only that here our elevation's been maintained, like for this one we had to go up a little, but in this one we had no change in elevation. So you see, now that our system is dry, we can use either of these two ways. You remember that I was not allowed to move the sprinkler and make it aligned with this pipe. So I had to create a curve, but the best choice is to use this helicopter wings way because it also looks more aesthetically pleasing. So considering the neatness and the aesthetic, this one's better. But in case you didn't have enough space so you can create a return bend, you can create your junctions for your dry lines from the side instead. Alright, now we have another way of connecting the sprinkler to the pipe from the side, which is actually something just like this. Let me move the section here, and then turn on tile views so we can see the plan and the section at the same time. This is the part we're working on. Alright, so do you recall when we were talking about the ducts where we wanted to connect the rectangular terminals to the ducts? One of the ways to do that was using connect into. Now the same thing applies here. So I'm going to click on the sprinkler to select it. Then I'm going to go up in the ribbon and click on connect into. What are we trying to connect it to? This pipe. So now we have connected our sprinkler to our pipe. Only I should keep in mind that the size of the pipe would be the same as the sprinklers. What does that mean? It means that the diameter of this pipe is now 15. So I have to select these pipes and change their diameters to 25. This way we also get a transition. So I just simply selected my sprinkler and connected into the pipe. Now what about this one? Let's see if we can do the same thing here. So first I'm going to select it, then connect it into this pipe. Now because the pipe is directly coming in and hitting the T here, we get an error. It says there was not enough room to place the required fittings. So the problem here is that we didn't have enough space to make this connection happen. So we can't use this method for this. It only applies for one side. And for this side, we're going to have to draw the pipe step by step. So now, of all of these connection ways, you can choose one of them. 
and in my opinion for this case this helicopter wings is better so i'm gonna connect all of these sprinklers to the main pipe by uh, choosing this helicopter wing way so i'm gonna change the view back to tab views and then i'm gonna go to the plan and drag to select everything we've drawn then go to the funnel icon to uncheck the sprinklers then ok but delete everything else connected to them now i'm gonna use trim to connect these two pipes together now same thing here as well i'm gonna drag to select the items then go to the filters and uncheck sprinklers then ok and i can even hold the shift key and click on this t to keep it now once i delete the pipe i'm gonna go to the t and click on the minus sign to remove it now the pipe command pi and for the elevation we decided to keep it on 4400 so i'm gonna click and click let's go connect the other one click and click and then head over to the last one click then go this way and click again and now i can just use trim to connect these two pipes together then i'm gonna select this upper elbow and click on its plus sign to convert it to a t and then the same thing here select the elbow and convert it to a t and the same thing here as well select the elbow and click on the plus sign to convert it to a t now we get the pipe command p i click and click now to the next one click and click and now for the last one we're gonna click and click now once the pipes are connected to the sprinklers we can edit the diameters you remember we drew the whole pipe with two inches but this part says one inch so i'm gonna select it and change its diameter to 25. let's go up to check this one already looks fine and so does this one now for one and one half i'm gonna select this t and this pipe with it and the equivalent of one and one half is 40. now for this one which says two inches is already correct now i can select everything all together and then go in selection box and take a look at things in 3d view and this is how they turned out all right now let's go fix the elevations what was the elevation of this correct one 4096 so i'm gonna hold the control key and then i'm gonna select these three pipes and change all their elevations to 4096 this also means that the length of the nipples is going to be 10 centimeters now i'm going to go select the pipes with diameter 15 and also their elbows with them let's fix these diameters as well i see a crossing here we're going to fix it later here i'm going to click and click and do the same thing for this side i'm going to select and then go over here while holding the control key and select these and again while i'm still holding the control key select these parts now i'm going to change all of their, their diameters to 25. also let me tell you that there's another way of changing the diameters which is that we could just ignore them for now and fix them in quantity surveying but because i needed this line i fixed it now i want to have a better view and to see the items in heavy colors the discipline is already on coordination so i'm going to press vv then go to revit links then i'm going to uncheck underlay and click ok so i can see the architectural items in better colors let's also view everything from the left and i'm also going to compress this part so we can see everything below the ceiling now let's go take a closer look you see the first thing that caught my attention was that this pipe is going through this beam let me also expand it from the side you see here in this part actually let me also expand it from this side so you see the main line we drew was this one and then those four beams which we were seeing you remember that their elevations were lower so we drew the pipes right below them but then when it turns to this direction it crosses this beam so i have to either solve this crossing or uh, if you pay closer attention you see this other pipes also going through this beam let's expand the view from the side you see this is how long this beam is if we also take a look at the plan you can see that we have one and two lines over here as well first let me draw them pi with diameter two inches which means 50 and also inherit elevation because we changed the elevation and we don't remember what it was so i'm gonna click here then go to the end of the line and click again now press escape and the same thing goes here as well 
So we wanted this junction. Click and I'm going to move to the end of the line and click again. So here we have these three junctions. Now let's go check in 3D. As you can see this and this and this one. All three of these pipes are crossing the beam. Now what's the solution? What can we do about this? I can either change the elevation of all of these pipes and lower them to the point where they're not crossing the beam anymore. But if we take a second look, we realize that the pipes crossing the beam are these. And then for the other parts, you see that the elevations of the other beams are higher. So this means that for some parts, this crossing may not happen. So it is best if we apply the solution for only this part. As in, we wouldn't be changing, changing the elevation of the entire line, but only apply that for this part instead of changing the elevation of the entire level. Only on one condition that we have to check all the other parts to make sure that we only have to change this one. So now I'm going to assume that I have no other high beams here. So the thing that comes to my mind is that I can take this pipe and lower it. Because as you can see, once this one is lower, all the others will lower as well. Or I could just fix this part by creating a bend. In this case, the elevation is more important. So I'm going to go to the plan and then get the section command and click and click again. I'm going to minimize the section, then right click and go to view. I'm going to expand the section from the side where we had the beam and there it is. Alright, now I'm going to take split, then click and click here. So I'm just cutting the pipe. Also I'm going to delete these two pieces and then I'm going to go here, right click and draw pipe and then at a 45 degree angle click and click again here. Now press escape. And now also I can take this pipe and move it higher. Now I'm going to use align AL to align the axis of this pipe and this one. Also I'm going to use trim TR to connect them together. Now let's check in 3D and there it is. Alright, so now I've just lowered this pipe which solved this part. But it was best if I had lowered this pipe from here so that this one would also be solved. So let's go take a look. We're going to go back in section. You see, it is best if we had done it before this fitting and changed the elevation. So I'm going to delete this part and then I'm going to take split and click on here and here. Then press escape, then delete the extra parts. And now here, right click and draw pipe. Then at a 45 degree, draw a pipe down. And now I'm going to align AL. This is the base and align this pipe with it. And then again, this is the base and align this pipe with it. Now trim TR to connect this to this one and then here connect this pipe to this pipe. Now let's check in 3D. As you can see it turned out better than before. We fixed three crossings by creating one bend. Actually if we include these two then it would be five. One, two, three, four and five. All fixed with one bend. Now what about here? Let's go back and plan and create a section along this part. We get section then click and click. Also I'm going to minimize the section and then right click and go to view. So here we are. I'm going to use split to cut it. Click and click. Then press escape and also I'm going to delete these two extra unions and now here right click and draw pipe. Then draw a pipe downwards. Then go to the left and we could even connect the pipes this way. Let me show you another way because this is too close to the elbow. I'm just gonna delete these parts. Then I'm gonna drag this elbow by its pipe. Let's zoom in a little. So I'm gonna drag it downwards and then trim TR and we're gonna connect these two. So basically we've just omitted one elbow. We also have enough space to move this pipe higher. There we go. So I just created one bend instead of changing the elevation of the entire line. Let's double check in 3D and there it is. The crossing is gone. Also here the beam is clear and the pipe is going below it and continues onwards.